Today I decided to finally, much long overdue, take some progress pictures of my progress. Y'all, it is July 9th and I'm a little late to the party because I like to start things off in the beginning of the month, but I feel like it's still the beginning of the month. It's not exactly July 1st. And so I decided to go ahead and do my progress pictures because I am locking in on my fitness journey this month. Like I am really being strict about it. So yes, I'm ready to lock in on these fitness goals, on these weight loss goals. Y'all, I am so ready. So today is Sunday. I just dropped my vacation vlog. I'm super excited about that. And y'all, we just came back from another vacation, which was like a more family vacation. The first vacation, which was in Jamaica, was like a momcation. I went by myself without my kids and um, with a group of family and friends. So. This vacation that we just came back, my kids came with me, so we just came back from that. And so y'all, I'm like, okay, now it's time to get laser focused, laser focused, and on everything that I'm trying to accomplish before school starts again, which I have a solid month left. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that's not bad. So y'all, so I, I went ahead and I purchased this big water bottle because I'm really going to be taking my water intake very, very seriously. I feel like that's the first step, like drinking a lot of water, which I do, but I just needed a bigger water bottle so I could continue to be consistent. So I decided to get a bigger one so that way I can put all my water in there for the day and make sure I meet my water goal. The next thing I'm going to do, y'all, we just came back from vacation and guess what? The fridge is empty. So I have to go do some grocery shopping and I am about to go do that. But, but first I'm gonna go make me some coffee. And y'all, I just need to like get into changing my eating habits. And so that's what I'm locked in on this month. I really want to see like big, big changes, big, big changes. So that's why I did my little progress pic because I'm like, okay, we're about to see these changes. I got this outfit from Shein. It's a little bit big right here, but it was 10 bucks and I couldn't beat it. I got a large, probably should have got a medium. This is how it is looking. And as y'all can see, the locks are out. Y'all, my locks have been flourishing. Like, do y'all see this? Do you see it? Do you see it, honey? <laughs> so, yes, my locks have been flourishing. Um, I took out those long braids. I don't think I'm doing another braided style for a very, very long time. Y'all know me. I like to change up my hair, but I'm going to just stick to wigs. Like, if I do feel like the itch to change my hair, I'm gonna, you know, throw on a wig or whatnot. But yes, y'all, super laser focused. I'm about to go look up some things on Pinterest to get some like recipe ideas because I am really like locked in. I'm focused, I'm ready for this transformation. I've been working hard, but I feel like I just need that extra oomph, you know, that oomph to get over the hump. I do see some great changes in my body, let's not get it twisted let's be clear here your girl has been working hard but i feel like i could be working harder you get what i'm saying so yes y'all welcome back to the vlog definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed already And when we're making love, uh, 
down my gallery wall. Um, I, it was just crooked. It was showing like the little screws that was hanging on was showing. I have been purchased the right thing for the gallery wall. I just never put it up. So now I need to look up some YouTube videos to see exactly how I can make it straight and um, not crooked and like work out. But I cleaned the wall. The pictures are on my bed. As y'all can see, I'm kind of like trying to make my space the way it's been supposed to be looking. I also have some pictures that I have to put up above my bed. I don't know if I told y'all that I'm feeling under the weather. I don't know if you could hear my voice, but definitely not feeling the best. And it seems like my throat is getting even more sore. So, um, yeah. My Walmart pickup is ready. So that's the next thing that we're gonna be doing. And we might have to do this on tomorrow because I still need to look up the YouTube videos to see how to do it. These types of projects, really literally the reason why i hate doing them is because i'm always like messing up making more holes in the wall than i should y'all it's a complete mess hey y'all what's going on it is tuesday i had to skip monday y'all i was not feeling the best at all i don't know if y'all can tell in my voice but uh, i was not feeling the best at all so i did not pick up the camera however i did make myself go work out and i'm glad i did because i had a really great workout and so as you can see i'm in my gym clothes again and i'm going ahead to work out so that's what we're going to do and i'm doing an eight in workout because i just dropped off mckenzie to the daycare and so yes this is my first like a.m workout y'all i'm like super tired <laughs> i don't see how people work out in the a.m because p.m is what i usually do and like i'm just like ugh. but hopefully after this workout it can get my you know my pumping and i just have much more energy than i usually do during the day so we're about to go ahead and smash this workout <laughs> The workout I had was amazing. I usually try to at least burn 400 plus active calories. That lets me know that, hey, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so definitely burn that. And we had to stop. I just realized that I didn't even have my morning coffee. And I was like, wait a minute. I got a iced coffee and it's like a regular brewed iced coffee with a splash of half and half and then sugar-free vanilla sweetener. So I'm really, you know, focused, motivated to get this weight off. And I actually stepped on the scale this morning, contrary to what I wanted to do. But I just wanted to see, you know, where I was because I really want to, like, document. And y'all, when I say I'm so proud of myself, I am so proud of myself. I have lost a whopping five pounds. <laughs> five pounds and that is been since june so you know we all keep trucking on um to say that i went on many vacations five pounds to me is really good so uh yeah i had looked like i just been everywhere eating kind of like you know terrible but still maintaining my workouts so five pounds i will take five pounds of loss okay I wrote my weight down even though it's really not about my weight because I am trying to gain in other areas like my um, hips and thighs and buttocks but it is about how I look and so I am liking the way my body is transforming like I'm like come on come on results come on so yes this is my coffee I bought some stevia I'm trying to be realistic because I'm a sweet tea person I love sweet tea I didn't buy it and I have been going through this back and forth one week I'll buy like one week I'll go no sweet tea but then I'm like oh no I need my sweet tea fix and so the next week I'll buy a whole gallon of sweet tea and drink it all so in order to avoid that I was like okay we have to be smart because we got to trick our minds here and so I bought some stevia which is a 
a pretty good sweetener. Um, I did my research, it's like one of the better ones. So I got that and I'm going to purchase some unsweetened tea, which I could not find in Target, but I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it elsewhere and have my lemons. So that way I get my sweet tea fixed because I am like, I need my sweet tea sometimes. Right now I'm doing good with my water and um, water and coffee basically is what I did yesterday and the day before. We're trying to get laser focused here, laser focused. Let me know if you want a weight loss journey. Let's do it together. And I'm thinking, I really am thinking of doing like more detailed documenting, if you would say, on my close friends, um, close friends Instagram. And so if you want to be added to my close friends, slide to my DMs, I'll add you. So that way, you know, you can watch the up close and personal journey. So yeah, but I really want to see this transformation. That's why I did my progress pics because I know by the end of the year, I'm going to transform my body the way I want it to look. And yes, I will do that. to be the most problematic vlog I have created. However, I can explain. <laughs> so um, today is Thursday, y'all. I just came back from the gym. I had a great little, little workout, okay? It was good and what, what not. Um, however, like I came home and I was like, okay, what am I going to do today? I have all this extra time off I don't have to go to anybody's job and I just feel super super stuck like I don't know if y'all have ever been in a situation where y'all just feel like stuck as far as when it comes to creating content so that is where I'm at I'm like really really stuck like I'm really laser focused into my goals as far as what I want to do as far as body wise like I'm killing those but content wise I'm like okay what do I post next so I don't know if y'all have ever gotten this where, you know, a piece of content does really, really good. And then it has you feeling like, okay, what do I do next? Because I want that piece of content to top that piece of content. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just in my little perfectionist head. I know it is, but I know there's somebody out there like me as well. So yes, y'all, I struggled with posting for like five days because I was like, I don't know what to post. And then finally I posted, you know, it did, it did well, but it did, of course it didn't top the other posts. So that is like my mentality is like I'm stuck. There's so many ideas that I have, but I just feel like I'm stuck. So as I was scrolling and eating my breakfast, I saw one of my faves, they're having a webinar and it was like really inexpensive. So I was like, you know what? It was called How to Get Unstuck. I said, oh, this is what I need. <laughs> and so I had told myself a while back, like, girl, you got all the tools that you need to be successful stop spending money on courses stop spending money on this that and a third but just like with anything continuing education is important um this particular content creator i'm like i you know but like i've seen her growth i've seen her connect like i love her so i was like any strategies that she's willing to share i'm going to be there so I decided to go ahead and sign up. It was not expensive at all because if, if it was more than $100, I wasn't going. So yeah, it's actually today. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's at five o'clock. So I will be getting my daughter pretty early so that way I could be locked in listening to what I need to be listening to. Um, so yeah, y'all, I had a good little gym workout. And yeah, it was a really good gym workout. That's all I'm gonna say on that. But <laughs> it was a really good gym workout. And um, I'm glad I went this morning. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, I do wanna show y'all the patio because that's what I worked on yesterday. I did not pick up the camera to vlog it because I was chatting, chatting, chatting. And so I was like, okay, 
I, as I was on the phone, I was cleaning up my patio and then I went and purchased a palm that I've been wanting to purchase. So yeah, we got the patio pretty much fixed. I need some new pillows. Cause all my pillows kind of like mildewed and then the one that's on my big egg swing, my egg chair, it faded. So I was like, ugh. So I gotta take that off. I thought I could just like clean it off, but no, it's like faded. That's pretty much it. That's all the updates that I have. Um, I really worked out in the, the yard yesterday. And uh, let's see if I can put y'all right here. Yeah, I worked in the yard yesterday. And now it's time to like figure out my content plan. And I'm like, I need to figure it out before it's, it's, it's crunch time where I have to go to work. Like, I'm like, girl, stop wasting time. But I really feel stuck, y'all. It's just, I feel stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. So, um, I'm going to definitely take y'all to the webinar with me. Um, I'm really hoping, I'm really excited because I'm like, hopefully this will get me unstuck. But in the meantime, I'm going to, you know, start with my content plan. And I think I really need to, like, start capturing my story a little bit more. Let me show y'all the book that I am reading. Um, it's called Stories That Stick. And this is a really good book, y'all. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm kind of pretty, I'm pretty far in it. And I just have been learning how to just kind of like create my story and for my brand. I've been learning a few new things about how you get stories to stick in people, um, stories to stick in like consumers' minds, stories to stick in, you know, the people that want to follow you. So yes, um, that is what I'm doing. So hopefully, y'all, after I get my whole, I just did my little workout, so that felt, that felt great. And so now I'm going to go and pretty much research some things and try to figure out this content because I hate feeling like this. Today we are going to have lunch with my good friend. Y'all, I did not get a chance to like get ready, do a get ready with me because of course I'm always running late. And so how can I even pop out the camera? First of all, I had planned to wear something totally different, but then I couldn't find the right bra to go with it. So I had to change up the whole outfit. So yeah, we're wearing this. So that's why I was like, man, I always want to create this content. I have it in my mind, but I should have tried it on beforehand. Should have had everything laid out, you know. So I got to get better with that. But yes, y'all, the last time I talked to y'all, I had went, I was telling y'all how I was feeling stuck as a creator. Now, as of late, still feeling stuck. And I'm just like, what is wrong with me? But yeah, we're about to go to lunch. I'm excited about that because I like whenever I have, you know, things or plans. And being that we have, I guess, like three weeks left, before school starts, I'm trying to get into all my socialness, you know, together um, and be social. So yes, y'all, so we got the locks out and I'm loving these shades. I got these shades from Amazon. At first I was just kind of like, oh, they're too white. But you know what I'm seeing? Like a lot of people are wearing these white colored shades. So I really am vibing with them, their vibe. I'll leave them linked in my description box so definitely check them out but yes y'all oh and I did do my nails I did something different y'all I'm getting better and better at doing my own nails so I did like a little marble type of shindig and I'm really loving the way they came out so yeah 